should you move overseas for your career or should you stay back in your home country build your career over there build your business and grow over there while being near to family this is the question i receive from many students many professionals that we want to move abroad but there are of course lots of pros and cons like cost involved moving away from family a savings element and a lot of other elements as well so in this video i'll try to explain in a bit more details what are the benefits what are the disadvantages and what you should consider when you're trying to move out or staying home what does it even look like for you this video is equally applicable for everybody but especially i have received many questions from indian students indian professionals on this so definitely recommend watching this and you'll get to know more details by the end so staying back home against moving to united kingdom for example now talking about uk uk is definitely a good country a great country work life is good weather is good you enjoy working here i like working here myself so definitely positive on the work environment but let's figure out a lot of factors that First factor is family. Of course, you will be far, far away from your family. So that's a hard part of moving abroad in any country. And this is one of the big considerations you have to make when you're moving abroad. So in this case, your home country wins by a large margin. Second thing is ease of saving, cost of living, as well as salaries. Now, I know personally, there are a lot of people who went back to India because they were able to earn much more in India for similar positions in similar sort of companies. I'm an auditor by profession. I work in the big four firms and I know people who are auditors in the UK went back to India in one, one or two years because they realized that they can't save too much in the United Kingdom and they can save more while being near their family. And there are practical cases spent from big firms like EY, Deloitte and top firms as well. And some of the other big consultancies as well. Similarly, I have seen professionals from IT field as well moving back to their home countries like India, Pakistan because they are much near to their family. They got the skills, now they can earn remotely, they can work in the local firms, local companies and earn a really good handsome amount while saving a lot of money as well at the same time. So the second part was essentially salaries, income, cost of living. UK doesn't allow you to save a lot of money. The salaries are decent, but the expenses are quite high as well as taxes. So from a financial perspective, there's not a lot of benefit and there's not a lot of value staying here. And I see people moving back even before getting their ILR or British passport because they can save similar, more or less similar with family being very near and having a lifestyle that's quite relevant to you. Other things about career, career growth, opportunities, work-life balance, or, you know, office environment. Now, I know in Asian countries, for example, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, for example, the work-life culture is not that good. On LinkedIn, I literally, I see every day reviews of all different companies from every country, uh, especially Asian countries, again, talking about, you know, the work-life is rubbish over there. Uh, it's too much pressure. I mean, UK is not a saint that, you know, everything is fine, but it's much better, especially in the big firms like I'm working in, it's really good. So in those cases, it feels like this is the place to be. It's a preferred place. You've got a lot of opportunities based on the merit, based on your performance and, and not on personal favoritism a lot of times. So it's better in that element. And there's a lot of progression available in the United Kingdom in companies, firms, and you can grow, you can move jobs and grow, keep growing. And back home, of course, there are growth opportunities, but at the same time, the work environment is not ideal or it's not good enough for you to be able to grow or think out of the box and do something for yourself. I have been in the industry uh, in my home country as well, Pakistan, and I do not like that. So overall, I think from this perspective, then definitely moving abroad like UK makes sense if you want to enjoy your life, have a better work-life balance, explore opportunities, take on some challenging work and do all the good stuff in the work life. Four things about passport. One of the biggest advantages of moving to UK is you get a passport in six years, five years for ILA and one extra year for passport, so, which has its own benefits, but at the same time, it does have its own challenges. For example, looking at Indian professionals who are in UK, they came on a visa and stay five, six, seven years here, and now they're eligible for the passport. Now, the problem is in India, you can't hold dual passport or nationality rights, and that's why you have to surrender Indian passport. And I have seen this issue with many individuals in UK. They either don't want to surrender Indian passport or they just surrender Indian passport. There's no way you can have both passports. And it's a challenging one because even if you spent six years in the UK, you may not be willing to surrender your Indian passport. 
and that's the challenge I've seen and I've seen individuals on ILR and they are not taking UK passport as well. It's different for us Pakistanis, we can hold both passport at the same time and I think that's that's wonderful. That's a challenge I have seen in a professional. Now the problem with this challenge is if you have ILR in UK and you have absent from UK for two years, then then basically your ILR can be revoked and it's really revoked. Similarly, after getting the British passport, if you got the passport from Britain and then you moved away from UK and never came back, for example, five years, the timeline, and you, your passport is revoked as well, your citizenship is revoked as well in UK. That's a bit of a problem, but especially for the Indian people and the professionals who want to come to UK, grow here, but are not certain whether they will settle here as well or they have to go back. So that's the decision of surrendering your passport and being a British citizen and staying over here. For Pakistan citizens slightly different or some other country citizens slightly different because they can hold both passports at the same time. To conclude this, I talked about family, I talked about career growth, work-life balance, immigration, passport and all those stuff. Just to summarize, UK is great. I love working here. The work-life is really great. The money is all right. The taxation is high, of course, expenses are high. For me, there's no challenge like surrendering my existing passport. Or but at the same time, it's very important that you understand the implications before coming to UK. For example, if you've got a family, you should understand that the expenses are very high here. You are not earning too much money, at least in the beginning of your career, to support the family here, have a great apartment. I, I made a video recently about what does it look like in UK from salary perspective, cost of living perspective, and is it worth it? Uh, you can watch that but all you should make sure you understand everything before coming here i said i personally knew some people who went back to india uh, who were doing very well in big four firms in uk went back to india because they could afford more over there they can earn similar sort of amount with less taxation and less and better life i would say and that's a choice some people make as well even after coming to uk so if you are deciding to come to uk you know your dream destination so imagine there are people who went back because they did not like this they thought there is a better life back home and uh, this is a better reality of UK as well because expenses are very high against income and there's a very less amount to save and build your wealth as well. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps you to decide a bit more about UK. Thank you.